Good afternoon, everyone. The perfect storm for an economic collapse unfolds in front of us. World record shipping rates, energy carriers, Asia natural gas, all-time recorded record highs ever, UK highest electric prices ever recorded, as well as across the rest of Europe. And as agricultural spot index creeps up in price, along with increasing shipping costs, Tesco and Asda will deny entry for you to buy food with no face covering. Snowing in Vietnam, maybe that would explain the record demand for natural gas and heating across Asia. As Americans seek economic protection, After the most controversial election in U.S. history, J.P. Morgan Chase is placing billions of dollars for silver to grow more than 100% in 2021. Year to date in 2020 alone, gold is up 30% and silver rising more than 50%. And now we're entering a new year facing economic realities of a global economic crisis caused by COVID and political reactions. Patriot Gold Group has the No Fee for Life IRA where your IRA or 401k can be in physical gold or physical silver. And you may be eligible for the No Fee for Life IRA. Give them a call at 1-800-356-4470. And the knowledge that Patriot Gold Group is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer five years in a row from 2016 until present. Click the link in the description box below for more information. And now on with the video. And if you look at the last bubbles since the 1950s, you'll start to see the crashes.com, Global Financial, 2008-9, and then look how far above we are right now. Anything is going to knock us off the side of that cliff. And here we go. Three different possible weeble wobbles that are on the edge of the cliff. New world record set for shipping rates. This is absolutely the most expensive charter in maritime history. Specifically for very large crude containers as a specific type of ship to transport liquid natural gas, but clearly stated there's not enough LNG ships in existence to handle the current demand. And it's going to continue to increase through the next two months of the winter here in the Northern Hemisphere. So the agent benchmark or the price for liquid natural gas reaching all-time recorded highs ever. Since the trade dispute with China and Australia, China has stopped importing coal from Australia. And this record cold smashing across Asia at the moment, 34 degrees Fahrenheit below zero in parts of China. They need an enormous amount of heat. They just don't have it right now. So they have to substitute natural gas for the coal. And there's an instant giant demand. And you can see that vertical spike. That's pretty much China buying But we see the same thing reflected over in natural gas prices of Spain and Europe as well. Both vertical on that. That's real interesting. So we're looking at the transportation of energy, the prices of energy, and colder than average weather all across Europe. Now, the United States will be next on this because this next polar vortex is going to swing down. Electricity as well. Power prices reaching all-time record highs in Japan. And this is electricity, not natural gas. All-time record high recorded prices on the power exchange. Vertical lineup. You can see the red circle where prices hit in the UK. Everything was expensive because of Brexit there anyway and the disruption in supply chains. This is just going to add to it. A lot of people unemployed, not working right now, and you're adding in increasing energy prices, increasing electricity prices. And now we're going to add in increasing food prices. This triple whammy of everything going up when so many people are not working is just a recipe for calamity in the economy. Now, this is going parabolic and doesn't look like it's going to pull back anytime soon in 2021. Actually going to continue through 2022, it looks like, and an enormous amount of producing countries over the last 12 months. News feeds full of crop losses and yield reductions. But then right on top of that, Tesco and Asda, you can already see the control of the food. It's already started. And one of their approaches is, in the UK, if you don't wear a mask, you're not allowed in the store, period. Now, you knew this was coming, and it was just a matter of time before this was drip-fed into the society. Now they're going to come up with the uh, immunity passport. We'll have to show that on some kind of app on your phone before you're able to go in. And the mask will be no longer used. It'll be, did you get the jab? And if you didn't, you're not allowed in the store. It's going to jump from the face mask to the immunity passport. Watch it. 
It's going to drip feed in. And they're saying, of course, to protect your customers and colleagues who so many are unemployed that were just fired on the spot. 20,000, I do believe. They care about them so much. But they're not going to let anybody in the stores who doesn't have a face covering. Remember, they're private companies. They can do whatever they want. And here's the kicker. They're also asking customers to shop alone. So what is they doing? They're trying to drive down the actual consumption. Only one person going in. Not going to buy as much. Not going to buy on the spot. Hey, let's get this and make it for dinner type of things. It's going to be very targeted shopping. Go alone. And again, look how this is being rolled out. Complete control of the food supply. And something you normally don't hear, snow in Vietnam. Yes, it does snow in Vietnam sometimes at the very, very tops of the mountains. But this is really low. Coming down in the elevations here, you can see the snow depths. This is up in Lao Tsai province and Sapa, which I've traveled to myself, an amazing terraced rice field area, tropical. But some image coming off the of social media, so you have to realize that this is, you know, rainforest canopy or in rice field areas, and you have to look at the depth of snow. So how deep do you think that snow is to cover up tropical vegetation? There's a few breakthroughs where you can see the ground, but then as we get into Taobang, it looks like it's even heavier and sort of an icy fog covering everything. Now keep this into consideration on the visuals. And then I'll bring you back to 2014 when they had the biggest snow that they'd had in 50 years. Which one do you think is larger? This one? Or this is in Sapa here back 2014. This explains the record draw on the gas because if it's this cold in Vietnam and Thailand, how cold do you think it is in northern China? And with all the craziness going on across the social media landscape, Please join me over here on Patreon forward slash Adapt2030, also on Gab, Adapt2030. I'm going to keep bringing in news feeds along with the videos here. I'll have a second feed over on the Homestead2030 channel. It's a way to support me over there so I can continue to bring you research just like this. I'm of the firm volition that the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn marked a magnetic coupling line with the gas giants that are forming a new magnetic field, and we're going to watch our weather completely drop out across the planet. And what it does, there needs to be a giant distraction in front of that. And how do you see the landscape of the world right in front of you right now? Are you hearing about the atmosphere and Neptune reversing? Did you hear about the atmosphere of Pluto collapsing? You won't. What else is out that's deflecting away from that news? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.